Okay, everyone, so the next system, it's just, uh, just download now. So this is the Ingrid System Deluxe version. This is by the user Greenish Green. So a massive thank you to them for sending in their system. So let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us today as well. So here it is. Okay, what have we got? Oh, it's loading. Okay, what have we got? I guess it's like quite large. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's a more like it. Yeah, we got the reading. We like the reading. Okay, so. Got a bit of lag, though, because of the amount of particles in here, because we did see the ring systems. Okay, so Ingrid System Deluxe version. Hello, welcome to the Ingrid System. Credits to the amazing people that helped me make this. Okay, uh, Ingrid, a blue star that is located 38 light years away from Earth. It glows brightly and shines its system. Cool. Okay, so where are I? So the first object here, I'm just going to delete particles just so we can get through it quicker. So there it is. Alright, okay, so the closest planet is. Okay, that's definitely not it then. Where, where, where is it? So labels is on. Oh, so that's just an asteroid then. Okay, so the first real planet is here. Armia. The closest planet um, it is a gas giant with beautiful bands. It has two moons that are mere asteroids. Cool. Nice. Okay, that's a nice, vibrant colour. It looks really nice with the star light on it as well, the bright blue starlight. Very, very nice looking gas giant there. Uh, next up, we got Ust over here. It's a, it's almost identical Earth. It has free life on it and a lot of volcanoes. It used to have a moon, but sadly it exploded because of a uh, Unex flyby. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for that. So there it is, a very, very nice uh, Earth-looking world. Obviously, it's got, it hasn't got as much oceans as Earth, but it's very, very similar in colours. 85 and 79 stats there. Very, very cool. Looking good. Okay, after us, we see a bunch of asteroids as we now reach the outer planets. Okay, so the inner solar system is pretty small then. Okay, cool. So, over here. So, we've got Mole over here. What's this one? Okay. Nice. Cool. So, I'm just trying to... It, it, it used to have a moon, but sadly... Okay, so I'm just trying to work out the names. Okay, so there's Mole. So, we've got a... Uh, is there any description? No, there's no description for this one. But, yeah, there it is. Okay. Cool. Okay, next up, we've got Oman. So, this is the next proper planet outwards okay so it's the largest planet in the system it also the planet with the most moons it's the first planet with rings its rings were formed by unex flyby and some of the moons were passed in asteroids it used to be an inner planet but unex flyby ejected it out further okay yeah we'll, we'll refresh the simulation to get the rings on the sky so we'll go ahead and do that now just so just so we can see them but obviously i do want to delete them just for the simulation uh, running purposes so it's got a bit of all the colors on it as well if you look carefully so pretty cool okay so let's go ahead and yeah the earth like planet actually had rings as well so there they are cool anyways let's head back to the gas giant so oh man uh over here okay so let's just see it with its rings briefly so that's how it did look so it had a big ring like jupiter then okay cool so let's get it all off there there's a good look at them but yeah we'll just go ahead and get rid of them just so we can uh do it a little more smoothly cool all right so it just has a bunch of moons on it cool so there's oh man next up we got um Oh, there's another one with rings, damn it. Okay. Right, so this one over here. Its beautiful rings were formed when two of its moon collided. Uh, one of them, these majestic rings can be seen even as far as oh man. Okay, so let's do it again. Damn, that's annoying. Okay. Yeah, lots of systems. If you have too many rings, I probably will end up deleting them. So apologies if I do miss any. But it's just so we can get through this simulation more smoothly, really. So, right, okay. So let's head back to this one over here. So it's beautiful rings were formed when two of its moons collided. Oh my god, okay, it's got a huge cell. No wonder this system was lagging, look at that. So it's kind of like the largest planet with the rings. That's kind of what this, uh, if we zoom all the way out, yeah, you can see those rings are quite a while away. So yeah, they're pretty insane. But yeah, no wonder this was a slow simulation. So there we go. So that's a huge, huge uh, ring system there. Very, very nice indeed. No one's ever really done one like that before. So get rid of those. There, yeah, that's better. Right, okay. Next up, we got Haggis. Not much to say below. See the atmosphere. Okay, so that's uh, this one. What the heck? Okay. I haven't seen an object like this for a long time. I don't even know these objects could still exist. Uh, it doesn't have an atmosphere. See below the atmosphere. I mean, that, okay, so this is below the atmosphere then, so the atmosphere isn't actually on it anymore, but yeah, there you go, so, yeah, I've seen objects like this before, these very crazy coloured glitchy ones, they're really cool, <laughs> hey, nice, cool, 
Uh, no name. The last planet in the system. Also the farthest. So here it is. It's a very, very mysterious world there as well. Very, very dark shadows on it. And then next up, after the sun explosion uh, 200,000 years ago, Neptune got caught in orbit of Ingrid. Okay, so... Neptune left our own solar system after the sun exploded, and there it is. So Neptune survives on in another system, so there you are. Let's uh, open it. It looks a little different to it. Yeah, Neptune's had a few evolutions uh, since then. It also has a dark spot as well. Look at that. Hey, it's just got the dark spot effect back on it. So Neptune's had a few visual changes since then, but yeah, it's looking good. Very, very nice interpretation of Neptune, actually. I really do like I really like that, actually. I'm going to... Don't mind, I'm actually going to take a little cheeky copy of that. That is a really, really nice looking Neptune. Nice, it's Triton. Triton remains. So, pretty cool. That's a nice custom made Triton as well. That looks really cool. I really like that, actually. That's a really cool Triton. Wow. Yeah, I hope you don't mind as well. I want to just get a little copy of that. I think that's really cool. So, that's used, made using Europa. But actually, before the sun exploded, Triton wouldn't exist anymore because it would have been torn up by uh, Neptune's Rouge limit. So in theory, Triton can't actually be here because it would have been destroyed a long time ago at that point. So there you are. But there's Neptune. So Neptune actually hangs on, which is really cool. And next up, we've got uh, Himton over here, a planet, but again, not. This mysterious being is destined to become a star one day. It's all about to happen with a collision with Unek to decide the fate of its future. Oh, okay, I see. Unek, this is the one all the other planets were saying about. A brown dwarf like Himton flew right through the system, disrupting a lot of stuff in it. It's now caught in orbit of Himton. When they collide, a red dwarf star form brightens up the whole system. Uh -huh. Okay, so I think we're going to have to... Uh try and simulate that oh so what is going on here oh okay so that would ignite a red dwarf would it we can see the stats here so how large is it 50 dupes okay yeah that would definitely uh definitely cause a problem but we're gonna have a little bit of manual interference here to make this work so oh that that little moon just got eaten up by the cash giant so we're gonna do it there and then what we're gonna do is just a bit of manual interference. There you go. And slow down time. Play. There you go. So this is eventually them collide. So this should inform me in theory form a red dwarf. So let's see how this plays out. Oh. Whoa. That's a lot of lag. All oh, the game is lagging like crazy. Is it going to make a star? Let's see. That's a big load of stuff. Is there a star in there? I can't see. But that's a big, big collision of material. Whoa. I'm sure that would light up the system, though. You'd be able to see that collision from quite a while away. That's a huge, blue hot, absolutely blue hot collision there. But has it created it? Is that a star? It doesn't look like it. Let's see. Oh, no, it is. Is that a star? I, I, I honestly cannot see. Uh, close. Oh. Okay. Well, it looks like there is a star. What is that? It's getting bigger. Close the menu. No, it's still a gas giant. It's still a gas giant, actually. Look at that. It's actually managed to hold on. Uh, let's just get, get out of here. Control D. Delete the particles. Go away. Oh, my God. Have we just frozen the game with the huge collision to make a stop? Whoa. What am I doing? Oh, I don't, I don't need to do anything. Just go away. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, that was, uh, that was certainly something, wasn't it? Cancel. Go away. I've completely... Yeah, I can't really do much. It's all not letting me... There you go. Get out of here. Control D. Get rid of the particles, please. This temperature is just crazy hot. Look at the stats in the bottom right of the screen there. This temperature is completely off the scales. <laughs> Can we... Uh... Can... Come on, delete the particles. No. Oh, oh there you go. Hey, they... that's better. Okay, so where, where exactly is it? Wow, that was insane. Uh... Let me just go away. So where exactly is it now? Um, did it blow up completely? I don't know if it... Maybe both objects are exploding. <laughs> uh, it's gone. It's completely disappeared. So it's done that glitch where they've just blown up. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, gas giants. They're so strange. When they collide, they just disappear sometimes. It's been like, they've been like that for years in this game as well. It's very, very strange. And let's open the simulation again, and we'll just try and simulate it properly this time. So it's just Control D. Get rid of all the damn rings to start off with. Uh, and I go all the way out over here. 
And then what we'll do is as well, just delete this eunuch one straight away. And then all we need to simply do is um, buff it up. There you go. And there you go. So that is what you would create with that. So... I don't know why it's so dim. That's very sure. Why is it so dark? <laughs> I don't know, but there you go. So that would in theory create the star. No idea why it's so dark. I mean, maybe it's the... Uh, uh, there you go. That's better. And then... Um, yeah, I'm not sure why it's doing that. So temperature, I mean... There, there you go. We'll just... Uh, let's delete it again. But yeah, there you go. That, that's roughly what it will have done. So... There we are, but yeah, that does it for this episode of checking out your guys' solar systems today. So yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Yeah, nice little bit of an experiment at the end there. That collision was insane. Um, but yeah, there you are. So again, a massive thank you to the two guys who submitted for this uh, episode today. So that was Nick118 for this system at the beginning. And then that was Greenish Green System we just checked out there now. So yeah, a massive thank you to both of those guys for sending in their systems. And also, if you guys would like to send in your own simulations for this series, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, where you can upload your systems there. And also, guys, let's even go for 40 likes on today's video. And yeah, if that all said and done, make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.